Hey, welcome to another sneaker video. This time we're looking at the Nike Air Classic BW. And I have four models to show you, but I'm going to start with these two. The Nike Air Classic BW is also known as the Nike Air Classic or the Nike Air Max 4. And it was originally released in 1991 as part of Nike's International Series. The BW stands for Big Window as in the uh, large air unit here and up until that time when it was released it was the largest air unit that Nike put in its shoes and the shoe features a PU midsole and Max Air and over the years it's been released in many colorways and materials and there's also a second generation BW it was originally released as a running shoe but today it's mainly for style and I've had a few models over the years, some I've sold on eBay, some I've um, worn and now I'm looking to restore, and a couple that I've never worn. And I find that the white midsole on these, like the white midsoles on many other Air Max shoes, yellows relatively quickly. And it almost seems to just thin, the paint just seems to thin out and just expose the, the bare midsole beneath. And that's just been a common problem, I think, for a lot of people who own BWs and Air Max 90s and sometimes the, with the Air Max 1, also the, uh, the 95s and 97s. Uh, one of the most popular colorways is an original one known as the Persian Violet colorway. Unfortunately, I was never really a fan of that color scheme, but I still like the shoes, especially when they have a nice leather upper. And I thought I'd share with you today. The first pair is this one here. It's from 2002 and it's just a simple white and red upper. It's got that uh, white and red outsole and it's got a pretty thick uh, leather here. Let's see that. got this nice thick tongue as you can see it's definitely seen better days I've worn it a bunch of times and as you can see it starts to kind of the paint starts to just fade away and this part here this r this kind of rough part here um, often has paint problems before this smoother part does though this part here tends to get cracks in the paint and then it starts to flake off also along here we have this crease you often get paint chipping off there but here's uh, that rougher area as I mentioned before it really starts to kind of flake off and you see these veins the air units sometimes have issues too with paint coming off around them. But still the upper is very solid and uh, I think it's pretty good quality. This uh, second pair is from 2004 and it was part of an Olympic pack because uh, you had the Olympics in 2004. And note all of the little Olympic colored runners on the insole so again you've got this white upper and the material is not as thick as on the other ones as you can see it's a bit thinner and on this horribly yellowed material here used to be white or maybe like a pearl and you can see it's got some some shine or some iridescence to it but it has yellowed dramatically and I have another pair of these where these two colors the blue and red are reversed one's men's and one's women's uh, but same story with this stuff used to be white but it's yellowed pretty badly and I did repaint the midsoles I stripped off the old paint and I added some new Angelus paint but again you can see some peeling there 
and it is fading again. And it was one of my first paint jobs, so maybe next time I'll have a little more luck. I decided to show you these two models just to give you an idea of how the shoes age and uh, yellow over time with these different materials. So these are, as I said, about 10, 10, 12, 13 years old, so uh, you know they're going to uh, crease a little bit. Not so bad on this one, I'm, I'm surprised, but they're going to crease in yellow and, and you're going to have the typical problems that you have with other Air Max shoes. But I still think they're well made and I think if you can find a relatively inexpensive pair of BWs from around this era, uh, they'd make for a cool uh, restoration project. These next two pairs I've never worn, but I really, really, really like them. And despite some yellowing on the outsole here, uh, they've held up pretty well over time. So the first one that we're going to start with is the Nike Air Classic BW Premium PRB, which is this one. And the official colors are white and white, even though it's more of a white and blue. And it's from early 2006, and the model number is 314-382-111, and they're also referred to as the Paris RER, uh, named after Paris's Regional Express Network, which is kind of a rapid transit system that serves Paris and its suburbs. Uh, as for the shoe, it's got a nice white tumble leather upper with hints of blue in the form of the Parisian skyline. You can see, let's see, we can get that the shadow from that tumble leather here. Yep. It's very nice. Some more of that skyline. Continuing over here over the air unit. As for the thickness of the material of the leather. It isn't terribly thick, but uh, it's really nice. You've got this uh, metal silver lace jewel that says BW. You've got this plastic silver piece that says Classic. And you also have plastic lace tips or lace caps and this one says Paris. The, uh, the inner lining here is leather all the way down to the base and the entire tongue both outside and inside is leather. And how far does that leather extend for the lining here? It goes down to about here, about the uh, tip of the swoosh here. As you can see the yellowed, once clear, now yellowed outsole. And this is what appears to be a turnstile, one of those entrance and exit turnstiles for a, a train. And of course, you've got this train coming up here on the heel with some graffiti on it. And the train is in mostly, uh, it's outlined in black. Whereas the rest of like the city skyline is in blue, as you can see. Here's the air unit, and the uh, the midsole hasn't really yellowed. It's it's held up quite nicely. The swish is held up as well. I believe it's supposed to be clear, and this kind of rubber material here that comes up over the air unit and wraps around the back and does the same on the other side has yellowed a little bit, but it's nothing, nothing too bad. The shoe comes with the anatomical arch supports that I've never worn or used. And I got these on eBay and they've been sitting in my closet for probably about 10 years. And uh, I don't think I paid much for them either. And I don't, you don't see them very often on eBay. I think every now and then you'll see them on eBay's European site, but for the US site, not so much. And here is 
the insole. Got a partial map of the transit system here. Just overall a nice shoe. And for the second shoe here, let's see, we've got uh, a 2005 pair of Nike Air Classic BWs in white, metallic silver, and metallic gold. The model number is 309-210-112, but I've had trouble finding these online using that number. This is another pair that's just been sitting in its original box, and both boxes, by the way, are in really good condition. Uh, another pair that's just been sitting in my closet for the past uh, almost 10 years now. But check out the leather on these. Nice tumble leather and it's it's pretty thick too. Well, pretty thick compared to a lot of today's shoes. It's well made. So as you can see, you've got that same metal lace jewel here that says BW. You've got that silver, or that plastic silver strip here. And you've got this silver stripe that goes around the toe box and up around the back of the shoe. And here you've got the swoosh with the gold outline. And I believe this probably used to be clear, but it's now yellowed a little bit. And this piece here, the heel piece, which is kind of like a, a rubber, uh, is silver towards the back where the perforations are, and then comes and uh, turns into a white. Again, the air unit and the inner structure there of the air unit is gold. The outsole, silver mostly with these gold squares. In that typical BW design. The inside is this mesh cloth. Uh, same with the tongue. The outside of the tongue though is tumbled leather. You've got Nike and Air stitched in in silver with a gold swoosh. And these also have silver lace tips with a swoosh on them. The paint on these appears to be extremely thick, uh, and it hasn't yellowed at all. Just uh, let's see a better comparison of the leather. This is the Paris one. is the white gold and silver one just overall really nice shoes really glad I got them and just to compare the BW's to some other shoes uh, this leather this nice tumble leather reminded me a lot of the tumble leather on the remastered legend blue Jordan 4's that came out um, recently you can see it's kind of similar and just to look at the thickness here of these two leathers on the left is the Jordan 4 on the right is the BW and to compare the air units. This is the 1988 style air unit, or 1988 size air unit, I should say. Next to the BW. It's much bigger. And to compare it to 
a 2009 Air Max 1 Again, you can see that the uh, the BW is slightly larger, and that's why it's called the big window. And just to give you an idea of what else was coming out in 1991, time of the BW's original release, you've got the Reebok dual pump running shoe. So these two shoes would have probably been on shelves at around the same time. Both uh, both running shoes. Of course this one was the International Series from Nike and this one was a global competition running shoe from Reebok. So just kind of a cool comparison there. But that's just about it for the video and I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you're looking for a pair of BWs, uh, they drop every now and then, but mostly it seems overseas. And they seem to be pretty popular over in Europe, and they're I think they're kind of overlooked over here, especially compared to the the Air Max One, the 90s, 95s, 97s, and even even the 93s. But uh, these are great shoes. And if you can find them, if you want them, I would suggest going up half a size, which is what I suggest for most Air Max shoes. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, have a great day as I always say, and I'll see you next time.